The objective of this lesson is to learn about the minimum and maximum formulas in Excel. So let's start. So I'm going to write equal for maximum it's max, for minimum it's min. So I'm going to write this for you here, min and then max. So I'm going to use min in this examples, but you can do the same with max. So equal min, then you open the parentheses and you have number one, number two, etc. It goes up to 255. And that doesn't mean that you can only check the minimum for 255 number because each number could be a range of cells. So for example, this is a range of cells. This is counted as one number for Excel. So let's hard code something to try. So if I do the minimum of one minus four and 10, and I close the parentheses, I get D minus four. Now I can do the same with cells. So I'm going to do minimum of, I select my cells, then I close the parentheses, enter, and two is obviously the smallest number. Now you need to be careful on one thing. If this is a blank cell, and I do the minimum of these numbers, when you have a blank cell or a text cell, it is ignored by Excel. But if, for example, some number comes there, then obviously it's going to get used by Excel and the formula will auto-update. Now, you have to be careful on one thing. So given this concept, if I had this cell and I come here and I write equal min, and then I select those cells, I get two, right? But if I unhide this, and then suddenly there is some data that comes in, for example, 45, or whatever, minus 45, you can see that this formula will update automatically. So be careful when you're doing this on some blank cells. In order to avoid this problem, you could do equal min, then you select the first set of cells, and then you have a comma, and you select the second set of cells, and then you get your number. So here, if something happens, you won't care. If I get minus 12, you won't care also.